Hello everyone, I am Ashutosh and in this video we are going to talk about style components and CSS in JavaScript. So first of all before going to style components, let us understand what is CSS in JavaScript and why we use CSS in JavaScript for front-end development. So we all know that whenever we want to style any element in our React application, what we do is we write a CSS properties for those uh, elements which we want to style using CSS selectors and everything and after that when we are done writing this CSS file we'll just import this that CSS file in our react application and then it will automatically style the, our react application so there are many disadvantages with this style or with this particular technique that we follow and the disadvantages are many but one of the those disadvantages is that let us say I have a some element so there are many disadvantages with this technique that we follow the technique is just writing a CSS file and importing it so this technique has many flaws and one of those flaws is that uh, let us say I want to change a color on a press of button I let's say I want to change the color of this text on click of the button so how would you do that you won't be able to do that if you have colored this element using CSS because you cannot import anything or you can, cannot import anything in CSS from JavaScript and if you try to do that then that will be a very complex operation so how would you do that so that is why styled components and CSS in JavaScript is so popular in front-end development there can be a way that uh, you can like uh, like define a style element here and inside this style element you define a color but that is just a uh, like managing things for just to uh, work your just to get your app work but it is not a very scalable way of developing front end because with this your code will get pretty messy and let us say you want to apply a hover effect on this p tag then it will be a very difficult to do that using style tag so that is why we use styled components so styled components is a, an npm package and uh, how we do that so styled components takes an element and it will style it and it will convert it into a react component so uh, rather than just defining a into your uh, application or in your react component you can directly put button as a component and now this button will represent a with applied properties these and also biggest advantage of styled component is that you can pass the props so let us say your button is you want to define as primary then it will apply some css properties to only primary buttons then you can also define apply css properties for secondary buttons or something like that so you can like do conditional rendering it will help you very much if you want to make your front end very scalable so let us understand how to do use that in our application so let me first add a button at the end of so let me first add a button at the end of this react application so Now we want to style this button. So like styling means that I want to add some uh, margin of this button so that it like differs from this text over here. Then I want to make the color of background of this color and I want to make a background color for this button as the same as this react logo right here. And then I want to change the text color of this button as well. How would I do that? So first of all, the most conventional way of doing that is just to go into CSS and apply some properties to button or just give a class name to this button and apply a selector to the CSS element and then apply properties for this button. We want to do uh, like CSS in JavaScript. So we want to write CSS in JavaScript. We can do that using style components. So style components lets us do that. So style components lets us do CSS in JavaScript. So how would I use styled components? Then first I need to install styled components npm package. So to install a styled components npm package, I will install it using npm install styled components. Styled components is styled hyphen components. So 
So when the styled components is installed, open up the server again and now we want to style this button element right here in our app.js file. So how would we write CSS using styled components? So to do that, styled components provide a styled element in that npm package. So to import that styled element, we'll import styled from styled components. And now how to use this styled component? So we need to create a styled react component using style. So to do that, I will create a component that is named button and I will style that this component using styled dot button because we want to style this button right here. So that is why we have to create a component where styled is styling a button element. And this button is similar as this button tag in HTML. So this style will style the button based on the CSS properties that will define in this ES6 string after that. So whatever ES6 strings we want to pass, we can define it here. And rather than just like writing a button HTML element here, we will copy this button react component that we are going to build right here. And now this will automatically get styled based on whatever CSS properties which we are going to write here. So let us write CSS property margin top. And if we save this, now you can see that it has added a margin right here. So whatever CSS properties you will define here, it will pass those CSS properties to this button element right here. You will get to see those changes in your front end. So let us just style some more things. So let me add a background color to this button. So background. So this would be a background color. And now you can see that uh, we have changed our background color. Now let us say that I want to pass a prop to this button right here. So let us say I, I don't want to keep my background color or I don't want to keep the text color inside this background inside this button as a white or black I want to pass that color as a parameter to this button so how you can pass that parameter is just like any other prop you pass so just pass any parameter like uh, let's say I want to pass a color as text color and I will pass the text color as uh, let us say white color so how would I get this text color inside my button? So that is where props is considered. So what I will do is I will just make a color element, uh, color property and inside that I will call that props and I will take a props dot text color from it. So now you can see that our text color in the button is changed to white color which we passed in this one so like this you can style your elements and this will help you in differentiating your style elements as well as your data so how would it differentiate is your styling and all everything is done in a separate place in your javascript file and your data fetching or and other things will be done in a separate place so your app would really be very modular and you will be able to understand the code in a very good manner. Style components is not just about style. There are many other classes like CSS and, and let us say you want to define some theme. For example, if I click on this button, this the complete theme of this website should get dark. And again, if I click back, the complete theme of this website should get light. So to do these kinds of things style components is used and you cannot do these things using just css if you try to do that using just inline css in uh, javascript then you won't be able to create that much scalable app using very much modular code so that is why we use css in javascript and uh, style components and these kinds of libraries help us to build this scalable apps using css in javascript and css in javascript and styled components is not just one 
there are different kinds of uh, other npm packages as well just like styled components one of such package is emotion which exactly do, does the same thing what styled components does just you need to like there are some syntactic differences on how to write this css properties in uh, using emotion other than that everything else is same and the functionalities is also same and this theming is done and this one is a documentation website that i created for my open source project and this theming that you are looking at is completely done using styled components so if you want me to create a video on how to create a theme provider which will be able to do this kind of toggle from light and dark mode then just comment down below and i will create a video on that that's it for today guys hit like button if you find this video useful and comment down what you like the most and what you didn't like in this video you can join my discord server where i post resources and my open source projects you can support me on patreon.com the link is given in the description box below and lastly you can subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss an update whenever i post a video i will be back with another video soon till then stay safe